Xavier, not as good as the past team we played, but they're about even par with us. All right, guys, we're in position and we're ready for the tip. And the first half has officially begun. Down inside. For two. Okay, fine. Another Xavier team. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard this season in real life. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. I'll wait till it now. Stop talking. To the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Inside, time to pick up the defense here now. He goes up with it. Balls. It. All right, so Xavier team in real life. This 2010-11 season. They finished 20th. Yeah, buddy. In the uh, final polls, they went 24 and 8. So they're a decent ball club. But I don't notice anybody on the roster of any but notable. No one won the NBA in this roster. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Up fake. Size mismatch. Yeah, fucking right. Our pound in the paint. Suck my dick! Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. The Vikings have improved quite a bit over the last few weeks. Hey, Brad, let's have some quality practices and a level of commitment. Are you puss? Based on my experiences, teams that have improved have done those two things. Great start. Now the turnaround jumper. jumper Fuck off. Oh! Great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. Gets it back out. He wants a three. Oh, nice, Norris. You're not typically a three-point shooter, but you're wide open, so I had to take it. We haven't gotten in a hunt. We got it for a quick start. We're not hung over from the big Washington win. Yeah, fuck off. He can put points up and he can move the ball. Tell you, Brad, he can get an easy 8 assist a game or put up 15 to 20 points in any given night. A well rounded player who has a good feel for the game. Yeah, yeah. Makes his second shot. So after this game. The very next day, we have to play a, a, a top-ranked, top 25-ranked Minnesota. And then we have some time off, it looks like. Fuck! Um, I'm hoping then we can get ranked after that game, because it goes into the next week. I'd love to see where we're at. He makes a nice shot fake. Kicks it out. Seven minutes left on the game clock. Look Here comes the ball screen. Trying to get. Nope. Goes up for two. No. For two. I don't know how you don't dunk this. I, you, I'm doing up. R2. Isn't that R2? Tries for two. That one's off. Looks like me out there playing. Damn, they always get me good on that shit. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Number 21 is called for Get into the line. I love it. Very good. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. On the outside. Goes up for two. Nope. Good board, good board. Tries to get the D to bite. Defensive 
probably try to stay with his man. And he's gonna All right. Why is my guard? It's all in the corner here. About 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Wow, Awful shot. Perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Awful. I didn't get back. Get down low, Frank. Get back to your bread and butter here. Fuck me, man. As we continue to track the game's tempo. Two teams are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, bro. On the low block. There's a high <laughs> What hops, baby, what hops. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Makes the no! Nice, the Chuck! He needs some inspiration. What? What? Four minutes left on the game clock. From the corner, off the mark. Yeah. And we've got a whistle in a... All right, good board. The shooting guard with the ball. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For two. I mean, dunk yeah, but that's sweet. I love the pump fake in my feet. I beat. can't understand defensively how guys don't see the ball in man. That was just simply a case of not seeing ball, man. I think Norris Cole has been kind of quiet the last few games. They look to get it to the inside. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. It's around a fadeaway. <sighs> Looking for a good shot. They really God damn, Dad, Andre Brown. Where's my guy at? Too much. That's a foul. The layup counts Fuck. the foul. He went on the class when it's about improvement day by day, year after year. Pushes it up. Pump fakes. Out on the right wing. About three minutes remaining. They'd like to get it inside. What are we doing line? here? It's too clogged. Let's motion this shit out. Gave it up. Try and it's blocked. <laughs> the small forward gets the ball. What happened? Off the off the ball foul. Let's go. Back in, back in. Fakes a jumper, dumps it in for the bucket. Drains okay, it. okay. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This Just stellar defense. God bless America. Benches right now. Message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Come on, chuck it back. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish close play because that gives you inside outside action. They work the perimeter. In the lane, missed the jumper. Good shit. There's the fake. He shoots the jumper. All right. How many points does Cole have? There's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. He's not, he's not doing too much. He's distributing. The pace has been quite hectic. Yeah, he's a distributor of this game. Takes his Just jumper. Call him Amazon. He's in distrib distribution. Oh, for fuck's sake. How about turnover? Apple turnover, I'll call him. What the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with you? Trying to back it inside. They've got him right 
where they want him. Richard. Whoa. Goes up for two. He gets it to fall. Opportunity for two for one. I'm pulling Cole. He's turned the ball over too much. Moving it around the perimeter. Cleveland State is now in the bonus. Good shit. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you gotta use that screen. Hey, how do dribbler use the screen? He gets the Fuck. foul and they'll won. Well, the arc looked good. Out on the wing. Bed the low block. Or two. He's money with a shot. If you fucking miss that shit. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. He draws a foul. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Terry look from three-point land with a final shot and come up short. Fuck of picking the better one. All right, 11 point lead. Game's probably in the books. That was the story of this game. If I look at some of these numbers, still lots of time to play though. Anything can happen. Cleveland State really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did. Their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Gave it up. Clock shot usually creates <laughs> opportunities. On the dribble, gives it up. It's up to Jay. Jesus Christ. The point guard with the ball. Team. Great first uh, start for both teams here. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the deep corner. The missed shot. Just a bunch of brick Moving shows. The perimeter. Outside jumper. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. They got them both. Good shit. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Now looking for the pick. Hey, it's important that the dribbler really turns that. Misses the free one. The shooting guard with the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Oh my god. Shot to go. On the left side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He attempts the jump shot. Jumping in look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. I don't think we scored this half. Other than free Down throws. The low block, try to work inside. They're creating all kinds of foul problems. Let's go. go. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the outside. Good defense so far. Shot. Great defense. Shit defense. Tickles a twine. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. I like that move, all right? None of this weird-ass hook shot shit. About seven minutes remaining on the game clock. Goes 
Good board. Better defense. The Musketeers got some good ball reversal there. Hey, when each player on offense touches the ball on the perimeter, it forces the defense to move. Eventually, the defense will break down. Inside. Prize for two. Come, Come on, Chuck. More fouls. Four. I almost missed that. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. We're at the five minute mark. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important. Mental toughness. Can't connect. Oh, receives the ball. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Bust the jumper. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out executing a game plan and ended up on top. End up being a huge blowout. So we were up 31-20 at the half and then just completely dominated the second half. We only gave up nine points. Abysmal. Take a look at it. Our uh, big man, Kevin Anderson, had a great game in the paint. 16 points. DeAndre Brown had another great game with 14 points. Hit a few deep balls for us. It looks like two of them. Joe Lane was good down low for a bit. Of course, Cole and Chuck get too much action on the points, but they distributed key parts in the game. So it was a complete route, complete blowout. I want to say Xavier shot under 30%. We are at 1.64% shooting. So we just were hitting lights out, home court advantage, if you will. Um, but a good in-state game, good for recruiting to, to, to beat up on our in-state rivals. That wasn't much of a ball game. We handle our business and moving on. Minnesota's next. That's to complete our non-conference play. Then we'll get into some recruiting and updates with that.